If you chose card number one, here's your reading. We have the Tower card. So this is all about destruction of old ways of life, old patterns, old processes of your mind, old thought patterns, ways of thinking. You're disconnecting from these old patterns this month of April, and you're ready to take a new path ahead, new step ahead. So out of all this disorder will come order and a new way of thinking, a new set of beliefs that suit you. It's not about trying to please other people. It's to please you. So this is what this is about. This is like a reformation, reforming yourself, reconstruction card. But it may be that you have to go through a bit of difficulty first in releasing old patterns before you can see the true order of your life. We have the Lenormand card of the thistle. This is a card of protection. The spiny prickles on the thistle offer you protection. So you're being very well protected. And you're also learning to be assertive and stand up for yourself this month. It's giving you a lot of courage as well to go forward with new projects, new plans, new ideas that you may have been fearful of starting in the past. So now is the time, this spring month of April, to initiate these new projects and take a leap of faith. We have Mary Magdalene Goddess card, Unconditional Love. Love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. So this card, this goddess card of Mary Magdalene is very symbolic for self-love, self-appreciation, and learning to have a relationship with yourself this month. You may do this by connecting with nature, going for more walks, cooking. I feel it's connected very much with things of the earth, natural things, reconnecting yourself with the earth and then with, with yourself. And this is how you find the self-love. So it's it's a month for you. It could be a month of feeling much more whole in yourself, regrouping yourself, connecting back to your own source of sense of self, connecting back to earth and the earth energies and the soul and spirit of earth and the universe. And it just feels like it's a very grounding month for you. So you're, you're releasing what is no longer needed and you're regrouping and grounding yourself this month. And finally, we have the magic rune of AO, which means you, as in you tree, W-E, Y-E-W. This means rebirth, perseverance, quest, conflict, and success. So it may be that you are embarking on a quest to find self-enlightenment. You're having some sort of spiritual awakening, lucid dreams. Write them down. You may get ideas for where your path, where the, the right path for you is going to be so you can achieve your highest and best. So it's about rebirth. Can you imagine a yew tree growing and it's rooting into the ground? So it's very much a grounding, but also re-energizing and rebirth card. Runestone, sorry, magic rune. And the other cards actually were stating about grounding as well. It's also perseverance, which is meaning, as we had the tower card earlier, you may be struggling with things, but the perseverance will get you through the dark times into the light. If you chose card number two, here is your reading. So we have the Queen of Cups. This card is about connecting with your feminine energy, 
and your emotions as well, as the cups are usually signifying emotions. This may also represent a female figure in your life that is trying to help you or give you some advice or guidance or good counsel. This may be in the professional workplace or the personal friendship arena. The Queen of Cups also signifies the zodiac signs of water, which are Pisces, Scorpio and Cancer. Again, very linked with psychic intuition and emotions. So maybe it is this month of April, you are learning to follow your intuition more and connect more with your spiritual self. We have the Lenormand card of the fox. This card is about being cunning and getting what you wish for, getting what you want, but using your knowledge, your know-how, your skills to go after what you want and maybe be a bit more selfish with your time and energy and not to give it out too much to people because the fox is a cunning animal. It knows what it needs and it knows how to get it. Foxes are nocturnal animals, which means they come out at night. So it may be that you've got some sort of stealth around you, again, protection. You're, you're not wanting to be detected under radar. You're not wanting to be um, seen or, or contacted by maybe some friends, family members that you're trying to distance from. You're trying to remain undercover maybe with something, keeping a low profile, maybe at work. Or it may be you're resting and recuperating after feeling a bit under, under the weather. But you will use the fox's energy this month to actually get what you need and get what you want. So it's a good card for you. We have the goddess card of Astara, which means fertility. It, it is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas and give birth to new conditions. So it may literally mean some sort of fertility or fertile energy around you or someone you know, family member or friend. It may also signify a birth of a new creative project you have. This project is very artistic or creative. It may even be linked with the outdoors or nature. It might be the start of planning a long journey or trip or around the world trip that you've been thinking about doing. It could be starting a new course. Can you imagine this as you are planting seeds this April symbolically for spring? And those seeds will then grow so that you can have a harvest. Finally, we have the magic rune. And this rune is Elhaz, which means elk. Friendship, optimism, aspiration, being fortunate, and the soul. So it's all about new friendships this month. Maybe you're learning to trust people. You're letting people in. Somebody's being a good friend for you. I did see the Queen of Cups, so maybe a new friend or a new relationship, could be male or female, comes into your life and helps you to establish trust and good connections, good communication. So this is a wonderful gift of friendship that is coming to you this month of April. If you pick card number three, here is your reading. We have the three of wands. This is all about you looking into your horizon and seeing what you want. Maybe you're looking about moving home or moving across to new lands, a new country, a new city, a new beginning. You may not have yet done it yet, but you're embarking on it. You're thinking about it and you're planning it. Ones of fire energy, they're also creation and they can be linked to business opportunities. So it may be that you have to move in connection with a new job 
But whatever it is that you are transitioning to, it is going to be very positive with you, for you and a new learning experience. We have the Lenormand card of the child. This is about connecting with your inner child and your sense of fun and joy. It may be that you join some new hobbies, activities, where you're learning to feel free-spirited and capture your inner child and start playing. You're ready to go out to play and have fun. You're starting new projects, but they are creative and they're more to do with hobbies. They're not so much about work or money. You're not worrying about those things at the moment. You're just concentrating on enjoying life. We also have the goddess card of Hathor, which means receptivity, being receptive. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give others. So it's learning to receive. You are already a giver, but you need to learn how to receive so that your life is balanced. This could also be a little bit of a warning that people have been taking too much from you. This could be financially or energetically. You need to create some balance and some boundaries with these people so that they don't continue to take from you. Your magic rune is is, which means ice. This is about static, energy loss, cooling, separation, focus, privacy and ill feelings. It comes across as a bit of a negative rune, but it's actually a magic rune. And it's telling you that you may have to release old patterns. Maybe there's been some needy people around you taking your energy and you're learning to cool off from these people. Like you imagine you're a human ice cube and you're cooling off, naturally releasing any ties that don't serve you anymore. And you're actually creating some distance and separation between you and those that have negative, ne negative impacts on you. It's also about focus and privacy. So maybe you are focusing more this month on what your needs are and your goals and what you want, your well-being. You're focusing on your well-being. And you're having a sense of privacy as well, where you're keeping yourself to yourself. Maybe you're not sharing too much information with others because it could be that others we're getting a bit competitive or jealous, but you're able to be like an ice block of ice, but you're not an ice cube all the time. You have that warmth in you when needed, but when needed to separate, you have the magic rune energy of the ice. If you pick card number four, here is your reading. We have the Three of Cups, and this is all about celebration, joy, prosperity, abundance, excitement. It could be that you're invited to a party or there's a birthday celebration coming up. Sometimes it may even signify a wedding or that you've got good news with a job interview, driving test, or waiting some results that go really well and you become successful. You're celebrating, it may be celebrating with friends, family, or a small group of people. You may even be celebrating by yourself, but you're still feeling a lot of joy and happiness this month of April. So look forward to this event. Here we have the Lenormand card of the lady. This is about a lady coming into your life, could be romantic or as a friendship that is giving you some sort of professional help. So if you are single, you may meet somebody, but if not, if it's not romantic, it will be someone that helps you in some way. If it is a romantic partner, it will be someone that helps you. So it's someone that's very useful and very kind energy. And this person is wanting to take you to some places to visit and being a sort of guide for you. So it may be that you meet them on a holiday or trip, 
and they're helping you with directions or guiding you in some way. I was going to say that holiday or trip may involve a lot of greenery because I could see lots of green in the background. So it could be a countryside trip with a lot of trees and hills. The goddess card we have is Damara guiding children. So this card says you are good at helping, counselling and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So it may be you're going to take up a course in counselling or working in education or working in children with children. You may even take up a healing course like Reiki. You may be helping someone with children, maybe a family member, or spending more time with your own children or some relatives' children, maybe nieces, nephews, um, small children. There may even be a party or a celebration you're going to be invited to, connected to that. You're doing lots of fun things together. Maybe that you're going to see some animals in the zoo. You could be going on a little journey to a park. You could be doing a bit of gardening. I feel this is all very outdoors and nature based. So it's enjoying time with your children or working with children. And finally, we have the magic rune of thorn. And this means giant. Protection, counsel, non-action, luck, but also warning. So giant is protection to any warnings. You will be well protected. You must trust. Trust your own intuition with things. Listen to your inner voice. It may be that people have tried to take advantage or a situation or a job or something you're looking at is, doesn't seem quite right to you. Trust that Thorn, the magic rune, will give you that intuition to really have wise counsel with yourself Maybe taking non-action is good, so stepping back and watching and waiting to see what unfolds. It could be that there's a situation around you now in the present that you're not worried about, you're not sure the outcome, but if you watch and wait, the outcome will reveal itself. And there's a lot of luck with this because if you follow your intuition, you will take the lucky path 